Use English here and now. Let's do something new. Use the English inside you. Let's do something new. Speak up and just be you. Show the world what you can do. A car walk time trial. Let's get started with day 11 for the month of June. Hi, Hi everyone. everyone. I'm Steve Saracy. And I'm Jenny Skidmore. Thanks for joining us. All right, before we begin, I have a question for you. Did you get a haircut? Kami kirimashita? All right, how about you, Jenny? Did you get a haircut? Actually, I trimmed my bangs a little. Oh, you cut your bangs. Bangs, maigami. You did it yourself? I did. It looks great. Thanks, Steve. All right, this week, from Monday to Thursday, we have our. Skill tests. And today's SPR skill test is based on this month's basic phrases. We'll try the skill test two times. And today, our skill test will be in almost all English. Hobo all English de sumimasu. Okay, are you ready to get started? Then let's go. SPR skill test. I'll say something in Japanese and you say it in English. Here's the first one. Go ahead. Okay, here's the next one. Go ahead. Before we do the next one, let's check some words. Do you know how to say Otera and Jinja. Otera, temple. Jinja, shrine. Now let's make a sentence. Mazu otera ni itte, sore kara jinja ni ikimasu. All right, here's the next one. Ashita ame ga furana kereba, oshiro o mini ikimashou.土曜日にちょっとしたお祭りが神社であります。2週間後に花火大会があります。Okay, let's go to the next one. 地元出身の有名人はいますか? Here's the next one. Can you say Hatsumeka in English? Inventor. Now, let's make a sentence. Jimoto Shushin no Yumeena Hatsumeka ga imasu. Here's the next one. Watashi no Jimoto wa Nihon Alps no Fumoto ni arimasu. Here's the last one. 自分の地元が日本のどのあたりにあるのか言ってみよう。Okay, time's up. Did you try to say each one? That was your first try. Now, Jenny will give you some sample answers. And after that, we'll try this skill test together one more time. So now check your answers with mine. And if you have our textbook, you can follow along. Okay, listen closely. I'll show you around my hometown. I'll show you around my hometown. That means, The word around is very useful. For example, walk around. Okay, here's the next one. It's so humid today. When you talk about the weather, the subject is usually it. It's so humid. Soしてsaigoni today. You can also use muggy. It's so muggy today. Here's the next one. Mazu otera ni itte, sore kara jinja ni ikimasu. First, we'll go to the temple and then the shrine. First, we'll go to the temple 
and then the shrine. The next one is also a longer sentence. 明日雨が降らなければお城を見に行きましょう。If it doesn't rain tomorrow, let's go see the castle. If it doesn't rain tomorrow, let's go see the castle. Here's the next one. 土曜日にちょっとしたお祭りが神社であります。On Saturday, there is a little festival at the shrine. A little festival or a small festival. Both are fine. The important thing is to make a sentence within the time limit. Here's the next one. There's a fireworks show in two weeks. There's a fireworks show in two weeks. Later, after, yorimo, in, in two weeks. Are there any famous people from your hometown? Here's the next one. 地元出身の有名な発明家がいます。There's a famous inventor from my hometown. There's a famous inventor from my hometown. 私の地元は日本アルプスのふもとにあります。My hometown is at the foot of the Japan Alps. Here's the last one. 自分の地元が日本のどのあたりにあるのか言ってみよう。回答例です。My hometown is located in western Japan. It's near Kyoto. So, those are some sample answers for today's skill test. Did you understand? I'm sure you can say each one a little better this time, as we try today's phrases one last time. Okay, do your best. Let's go. 私の地元を案内します。I'll show you around my hometown. 今日はとても蒸し暑いです。It's so、humid today. まずお寺に行って、それから神社に行きます。First, we'll go to the temple and then the shrine. 明日雨が降らなければお城を見に行きましょう。If it doesn't rain tomorrow, let's go see the castle. 土曜日にちょっとしたお祭りが神社であります。2週間後に花火大会があります。地元出身の有名人はいますか Are there any famous people from your hometown? 地元出身の有名な発明家がいます私の地元は日本アルプスのふもとにあります。My hometown is at the foot of the Japan Alps. 自分の地元が日本のどのあたりにあるのか言ってみよう。回答例です。My hometown is located in western Japan. It's near Kyoto. All right, you did it. Great job! Your speaking skills are getting better day by day. This month's theme is Your Land, My Land. So, see you next time on A Kaiwa Time Trial. Bye bye!
English here and now. Let's do something new. Use the English inside you. Let's do something new. Speak up and just be you. Show the world what you can do. A car what time trial. Let's get started with day 12 for the month of June. Hi, everyone. I'm Steve Ceresi. And I'm Jenny Skidmore. Thanks for joining us. This week, from Monday to Thursday, we have our... Skill, skill tests. tests! And today's SPR skill test is based on this month's advanced phrases. We have 10 advanced phrases for you. We'll try the skill test two times. And as always, I'll say something in Japanese, and you try to express it in English. And we'll have our skill test in almost all English. Okay, let's get started. SPR skill test. Okay, try to say this in English. Is today's weather normal? Okay, here's the next one. Mazu ego de tsuyu o yemaska. Rainy season. Now let's make a sentence with rainy season. Futsukamai ni tsuyu iri shimashita. Here's the next one. Watashi no jimoto dewa fuyu ga 4 kagetsu tsuzukimasu. Alright, next, can you say Hanto Peninsula? Use peninsula to say this. Izuhantoにいったことはありますか? Next, let's make a sentence about Nara. Nihonokoto Nara wa bonchi desu. Here's the next one. Mazu ego de katsukazan. Can you say that? Active volcano. Let's make a sentence. Arewa katsukazan dewa arimasen. There's two more. Watashi no jimoto wa joka machi desu. Okay, there's one more. But before we go there, do you remember how to say mukashi wa doko doko ni sunde imashita? I used to live. Okay, use I used to live and say this. Mukashi wa onsen gai ni sunde imashita. Okay, time's up. How did you do? There were some geographical terms. Chiri ni kansuru hyougen mo arimashita ne. And now let's check your answers with mine. If you have our textbook, you can open it up and follow along. Okay, listen closely. Is today's weather normal for this time of the year? For this time of the year. You can put it at the end of the sentence or the beginning. For this time of the year, is today's weather normal? Both are fine. The rainy season started two days ago. Started The rainy season started. Here's the next one. In my hometown, winter lasts four months. Tsukimas. You can use continue or last. For example, in my hometown, winter continues for four months. Continue for. Gasetta desu ne. Sori yori mo yoku tsukau no wa kono last. 
in my hometown, winter lasts four months. 私の地元では夏がとても過ごしやすいです。In my hometown, summer is so pleasant. You can use the word pleasant to express 過ごしやすい。Or you could say it a different way. In my hometown, summer is so nice. It's not too hot or too cool. Okay, here's the next one. 私の地元はお米で有名です。My hometown is famous for its rice. This month we practiced famous for its. My hometown is famous for its rice. All right, the next one is a question. Izu 半島に行ったことはありますか Have you ever been to the Izu Peninsula? Have you ever been? Have you ever visited? Both are fine. Nihon no koto, Nara wa bonchi desu. Japan's old capital, Nara, is surrounded by mountains. There were two vocabulary words, koto, old capital, and the other one is bonchi, surrounded by mountains. Here's the next one. Are wa katsukazan dewa arimasen. That's not an active volcano. Or you could say, that mountain is not an active volcano. My hometown was built around an old castle. Okay, repeat after Jenny. My hometown was built around an old castle. Okay, there's one more. I used to live in a town with hot spring resorts. Okay, those were the sample answers and some advice. Now, let's try this one last time. This is your chance to do better than before. Do your best. Let's go. 今日の天気はこの時期によくあるんですか Is today's weather normal for this time of the year? 2日前に梅雨入りしました。The rainy season started two days ago. 私の地元では冬が4ヶ月続きます。In my hometown, winter lasts four months. 私の地元では夏がとても過ごしやすいです。In my hometown, summer is so pleasant. 私の地元はお米で有名です。My hometown is famous for its rice. 伊豆半島に行ったことはありますか Have you ever been to the Izu Peninsula? 日本のこと、奈良は盆地です。Japan's old capital, Nara, is surrounded by mountains. あれは活火山ではありません。That's not an active volcano. 私の地元は城下町です。My hometown was built around an old castle. 昔は温泉街に住んでいました。I used to live in a town with hot spring resorts. All right, did you speak more the second time? Your speaking skills are getting better day by day. So, see you next time on A Kaiwa Time Trial. Bye bye.
use English here and now. Let's do something new. Use the English inside you. Let's do something new. Speak up and just be you. Show the world what you can do. A car war time trial. Let's get started with day 13 for the month of June. Hi, everyone. I'm Steve Ceresi. And I'm Jenny Skidmore. Thanks for joining us. Today and tomorrow, we'll have a Taiwa Karaoke skill, skill test. test. Today is the basic version of Taiwa Karaoke skill test. I'll say something in English to you seven times, and you try to reply seven times within the time limit. In your own words, okay? For today's conversation, you'll be interviewed about your hometown. But first, let's warm up with a question. Let's warm up. Here's a question from today's conversation. Can you tell me about one special place in your hometown? How would you reply? So first, try to answer in your own words. Can you tell me about one special place in your hometown? Go ahead. Okay, let's check some sample replies. Number one. Personally, I like a cafe called XYZ. Number two. There's a wonderful old castle here. Number three. We have so many used bookstores and antique shops. Okay, let's try that question one more time. Try to reply in your own words. Can you tell me about one special place in your hometown? Go ahead. Okay, now you're warmed up and you're ready for today's conversation. Taiwa Karaoke Skill Test. Here's the scene for today's Taiwa Karaoke. Imagine you're walking in your hometown and someone asks you for an interview. He's a reporter and he's doing an interview about your hometown. Okay, are you ready to get started on today's conversation? We'll try it two times. So for the first time, just do your best. Here we go. Reporter がやってきました。インタビューに応じてください。Hi, I'm from ETT Radio News. May I ask you a few questions? Well, I'm doing a report about this town, and I'd like to hear from the locals. Do you live here? Okay. Let me record. So, may I have your name? Oh, that's a nice name. Is that a common name in Japan? I see. So, Tell me about some local products. What are some famous local products or industries? Well, what else is this area famous for? And last question, can you tell me about one special place in your hometown? Maybe a famous tourist spot or just a nice cafe? Time's up. Well, how was your conversation? That was your first try. Next, we'll check Jenny's sample answers. So I'll have the conversation with Steve this time. 
All right. And what are some famous local products or industries? I'll give you a sample reply about tatami mats. And anything else? I'll talk about ramen and our famous baseball team, too. And finally, Jenny will introduce a cafe as a special place from her hometown. So listen to my replies and use them as a hint. Okay, here we go. Hi, I'm from ETT Radio News. May I ask you a few questions? Sure. What are you covering? Was there some news event? Well, I'm doing a report about this town, and I'd like to hear from the locals. Do you live here? Yes, I do. I've lived here for about 15 years. Okay, let me record. So, may I have your name? Sure. It's Hanako. H A N A K O. Oh, that's a nice name. Is that a common name in Japan? Well, it's a traditional name, but I don't think my name is so common now. I see. So, tell me about some local products. What are some famous local products or industries? There are a lot of small factories in the older part of the town. They make tatami mats, traditional Japanese flooring. This area is famous for its tatami mats. Well, what else is this area famous for? This area is famous for its ramen. And we have a famous baseball team, too. And last question. Can you tell me about one special place in your hometown? Maybe a famous tourist spot or just a nice cafe? Okay. Personally, I like a cafe called the Bumbogu Cafe. It's a stationery themed cafe. It has the latest stationery from around the world. All right, those are some sample replies. So let's have this conversation one more time. Okay, this is your chance to do even better than before. Are you ready? Let's go. Reporter got to come. Interview to be on. Hi, I'm from ETT Radio News. May I ask you a few questions? Well, I'm doing a report about this town, and I'd like to hear from the locals. Do you live here? Okay. Let me record. So, may I have your name? Oh, that's a nice name. Is that a common name in Japan? I see. So, Tell me about some local products. What are some famous local products or industries? Well, what else is this area famous for? And last question, can you tell me about one special place in your hometown? Maybe a famous tourist spot or just a nice cafe? Okay, time's up. How many times did you reply? Your conversation skills are getting better day, day by, by day. day. So, see you next time on A Kaiwa Time, time Trial. Trial. Bye bye. <laughs>
Let's get started with day 14 for the month of June. Hi, everyone. I'm Steve Ceresi. And I'm Jenny Skidmore. Thanks for joining us. Today is our final step for the skill tests. It's Taiwa Karaoke Skill Test Advanced. Advanced. So let's have a full conversation over the radio. Taiwa Karaoke Skill Test. Here's the scene for today's conversation. As we practiced before, you'll have an interview with a reporter. And today, the reporter is Jenny. That's right. I'm doing a report about your hometown. So help Jenny with her report and just answer some questions. So have a full 10-turn conversation about your hometown. Are you ready? Let's go. Hi, I'm from ETT Radio News. May I ask you a few questions? Well, I'm doing a report about this town. Do you live here? Okay, may I have your name? Oh, that's a nice name. Is that a common name in Japan? I see. Well, how do you like living here? Do you work in this city or do you commute to work? Well, what is this area famous for? Tell me about some local products. What are some famous local products or industries? Are there any famous people from here? And last question, can you tell me about one special place in your hometown? Maybe a famous tourist spot or just a nice cafe? Okay, time's up. Well, did you reply each time in your own words? It was a full interview, and there were some new questions. First, let's check the fifth question. How do you like living here? Next is the sixth question. Do you work in this city or do you commute to work? And there was a question about famous people. Are there any famous people from here? How did you handle those new questions? So now I'll have this conversation with Steve. You can listen to Steve's replies and use them as a hint, okay? Listen closely. Hi, I'm from ETT Radio News. May I ask you a few questions? Sure, go ahead. Well, I'm doing a report about this town. Do you live here? Yes, I do. I've lived here for about 15 years. Okay. May I have your name? Sure. It's Takeshi. T-A-K-E-S-H-I. Oh, that's a nice name. Is that a common name in Japan? Yes. There were 10 boys named Takeshi in my high school, actually. I see. Well, how do you like living here? 
Well, I live in the heart of the city, which is great. But there are too many people. It's always so crowded. Do you work in this city, or do you commute to work? I commute, but it's only about 20 minutes by train. Well, what is this area famous for? It's famous for its baseball team, the Minami Dolphins. They won the championship two years in a row. I'm a big fan of the Dolphins. Tell me about some local products. What are some famous local products or industries? There are a lot of ramen restaurants. The ramen from this area is called Shunpatsu Ramen. It's a little spicy, but you get used to it. Are there any famous people from here? A famous movie director named Shiroyama is from here. A few years ago, he won the Academy Award. And last question. Can you tell me about one special place in your hometown? Maybe a famous tourist spot or just a nice cafe? There's a wonderful old castle here. It's from the 16th century. You can find some information about it in English on the internet. Well, did you understand our conversation? Okay, try this conversation one more time with Jenny. It's an interview about your hometown. Start! Hi, I'm from ETT Radio News. May I ask you a few questions? Well, I'm doing a report about this town. Do you live here? Okay, may I have your name? Oh, that's a nice name. Is that a common name in Japan? I see. Well, how do you like living here? Do you work in this city or do you commute to work? Well, what is this area famous for? Tell me about some local products. What are some famous local products or industries? Are there any famous people from here? And last question, can you tell me about one special place in your hometown? Maybe a famous tourist spot or just a nice cafe? All right, you did it. How was your final try at today's conversation? Great job this month as you introduced your hometown. Your conversation skills are getting better. Day by day. Week by week. And, and month, month by, by month. month. So see you next time on... Eikaiwa Time, time Trial! Bye-bye! Here and now. Let's do something new. Use the English inside you. Let's do something new. Speak up and
Let's get started with day 15 for the month of June. Hi, everyone. I'm Steve Ceresi. And I'm Jenny Skidmore. Thanks for joining us. Today, we have a special 10 second challenge. Here we go. 10 second challenge in the US. Jubio challenge in the US. Steve interviewed people in the US. That's right. America de machiyuku shito ni toi kakete. 10秒で答えてもらいましたネイティブはどのように返答するか聞いてみましょう OK, today we'll check out the replies from three different people That's right そして今回のテーマは Where did you grow up? どこで育ちましたか育った場所について答えてくれましたそしてもちろん聞くだけの講座ではありません最後には皆さんにも挑戦してもらいますよ OK Let's check out how three people in the US replied. And you can use their replies as a hint. それではまず一人目です。The first person we'll introduce is Jeff. He had a great smile, and so I asked him to join our program. 育った町の地理などについて説明してくれましたよ。いくつかの地名が出てきます。では早速聞いてみましょう。Okay, listen closely. So, where'd you grow up? Ready, start. I grew up in Poughkeepsie, New York, which is about 65 miles north of the big city in the Hudson Valley. It's on the banks of the Hudson River. It's surrounded by、uh, apple orchards. It's a very nice area. Okay, that was his reply. Poughkeepsie という町でしたね。聞いたことないですね。あまり知られていないその町をどのようにわかりやすく説明したか、内容をチェックしましょう。彼はまず町の名前だけではなくて誰もが知っている州の名前も言いましたね。I grew up in Poughkeepsie, New York. ニューヨーク州のポキプシーで育ちました。その次に町はどの辺りにあるのかについて。Which is about 65 miles north of the big city. ビッグシティというのはニューヨーク市の愛称です。そこから北に約65マイルのところで。In the Hudson Valley. Hudson Valley にあります。そしてさらに。It's on the banks of the Hudson River. Hudson 川沿いにあります。It's on the banks of the Hudson River. そして最後に、どんな町なのか。It's surrounded by apple orchards. リンゴ農園に囲まれています。そして。It's a very nice area. とてもいいところです。Okay, let's check out Jeff's reply one more time. Listen closely. I grew up in Poughkeepsie, New York, which is about 65 miles north of the big city in the Hudson Valley. It's on the banks of the Hudson River. It's surrounded by、uh, apple orchards. It's a very nice area. 2回目の方が聞き取れましたかこのように地理を説明することで相手に伝わりやすくなりますね。それでは続いて2人目です。Okay, the second person we'll introduce is Joe. 彼もニューヨーク近郊の町出身のようです。Let's check out Joe's 10 second challenge in the US. Where did you grow up? Start. I grew up in Smithtown, New York.、Uh, it's a town that's in the middle of Long Island, about 50, 60 miles east of New York City. And a、uh, great place to grow up. Smithtown というところでしたね。こちらもあまり知られていない町ですが、どのように説明したか内容をチェックしましょう。ニューヨーク州にあるところですので、こういうふうに言いました。I grew up in Smithtown, New York. そしてこう補足しました。It's a town that's in the middle of Long Island. ロングアイランドの中ほどにある町です。スミスタウンより大きい地域のくくりはロングアイランド。次に、町がどのあたりにあるかについて補足しました。About 50, 60 miles east of New York City. ニューヨーク市から50、60マイルほど東にあります。そして最後に。And a great place to grow up. All right, let's check out Joe's reply one more time. Listen closely. I grew up in Smithtown, New York.、Uh, it's a town that's in the middle of Long Island, about 50, 60 miles east of New York City. And a、uh, great place to grow up. ジョーさんもよく知られている場所ニューヨークシティを使って説明してくれましたではもう一人の返答を聞いてみましょう
3人目は前回の「10秒チャレンジ in the US」にも登場してくれましたペームさんですこれまでの2人と違ってどのような環境で育ったかを答えてくれました彼女の返答の中には動物がたくさん出てきますよ早速聞いてみましょう「Where did you grow up? Start. I grew up in a little town called Rubido. It was a rural community. I lived on a farm and we raised cows and chickens and baby goats and it was a lot of fun. ロサンゼルスの近くにある町、Rubido で育ったそうです。内容をチェックしましょう。I grew up in a little town called Rubido. 私は Rubido という小さな町で育ちました。次にどのような場所だったのかを説明してくれました。It was a rural community. 農村です。そして、I lived on a farm and we raised cows and chickens and baby goats. 私は農家で暮らしていました。牛や鶏、小ヤギを育てたのですが、And it was a lot of fun. とても楽しかったです。Okay, let's check out Pam's reply one more time. Listen closely. I grew up in a little town called Rubido. It was a rural community. I lived on a farm and we raised cows and chickens and baby goats, and it was a lot of fun. 情景が目に浮かぶ内容でしたね。さて、次は皆さんの番です。あなたが育った場所について10秒以内に答えてみてください。今回登場してくれた3人のように、町がどのあたりにあるのか、どのような環境なのか、言ってみても OK です。Here's the question. Where did you grow up? Ready? Start. Okay, time's up. How did you do? さてここで僕とジェニーさんも挑戦してみます。Okay, first I'll ask Jenny. Are you ready? Okay, I'm ready. Where did you grow up? Start. I grew up in a town called Crown Point. It's about 45 minutes from Chicago. Our house was on a big lake and we had a big yard, so it was a lot of fun growing up there. Okay, Jenny talked about Crown Point. Our house was on a big lake. という文がありましたが、on a lake というのは短くなった表現です。もともとは on the banks of a lake. つまり、湖畔にあるということですね。先ほども、On the banks of the Hudson River の分もありました。Okay, Steve, now it's your turn. Where did you grow up? Ready? Start! I was born in Washington, D.C., but I grew up in Florida. We lived on the west coast of Florida, and the sunsets were beautiful. Oh, that's right. Florida does have such beautiful sunsets. 西海岸のサンセットは特に綺麗ということで、育った場所のチャンポイントを説明しました。それでは最後にもう一度皆さんも挑戦してみてください。Okay, ten seconds on the clock. Here's the question. Where did you grow up? Start. Okay, great job, everyone. それでは来月7月の学習テーマを紹介しましょう。Our theme for next month is Booking and Canceling. 予約とキャンセル。ホテルやレストランを予約したり、キャンセルするときに使える便利な表現を取り上げます。例えば、海の見える部屋がいいです。あるいは、今何かキャンペーンをやっていますかなど、英語で言えるようになりましょう。Okay, your speaking skills are getting better. Day by day, week by week, and month by month. So, see you next time on A Kaiwa Time Trial. Bye bye. bye, -bye.